quick video. Uh, installed an algae scrubber. This is on the 210 gallon saltwater tank. However, algae scrubbers can also be used and are used on freshwater setups as well. So just wanted to give you guys a uh, quick look at the sump here and let's take a look at this algae scrubber. So under the sump here, we are taking a look at the algae scrubber, which is over here to the right, the black acrylic box, as you can see here. There are many types and brands of algae scrubbers out there. This one in particular is made by Aquatic Guys. I did purchase this one on eBay. You can also go to their website. They have their own website, of course. So uh, this one comes in many different uh, sizes. This is uh, the second to largest size. It's called the AGS 250. This again is on a 210 gallon tank, which is uh, plenty for this size tank. Uh, on each side, this one is actually the blackout model, so the acrylic is black on all sides. However, where you see the lights, there's a 30 watt LED floodlight on each side. Kind of hard to see the other one, but um, it's on both sides. And where the light is, the acrylic is actually clear, so uh, no light is, uh, is downplayed there. So it gets the full effect of the uh, light at all times. That's on both sides. Uh, maintenance is quite easy. Just pop the top off here, just slides right in. I have the lights off right now just so we can see it on the video. Uh, the lights are so bright that I can't get the camera to focus in there, but uh, if you'll take a look here, you can see the uh, perforated screen in there. It does a great job at, uh, at growing algae, of course. Uh, it does take a couple weeks to um, you know break in and uh, allow for the algae to start growing and adhering to it, but once it does, uh, in my uh, case here, it really takes off. Um, I did just clean this one today, uh, obviously I will show you guys what it looks like all dirty uh, next in the video here. Alright, so here is the algae scrubber after about I'd say five weeks, maybe six weeks. This is the initial, uh, this is the initial run, the first time I'm actually taking it out. So it was breaking in and uh, algae was uh, seeding, so uh, I think going forward it should um, it should build up uh, a lot easier now that it's uh, it's taken hold of this plastic part. I will go ahead and uh, scrape it with this plastic scraper I have. We'll scrape it all off and we'll take a look at it when it's when it's cleaned off. All right, so here it is after I scraped it off with my plastic uh, card thing there, and uh, I didn't want to scrape off everything or you know rinse off everything obviously because I want uh, I want to have some uh, head start for the algae to. Uh, Grow again, so I cleaned it off this much, and I, I quickly just rinsed it off under the uh, under the faucet just to get all the loose uh, algae off. It was a bunch of loose stuff that, that came off that I didn't really want going back into the tank. So you can see it's just a just a whole huge handful of just nastiness. It actually has a little bit of a, set, a smell to it too, which isn't all that pleasant. But uh, anyways, uh, it looks like it's working pretty well. Um, this one in particular, I think they're all designed the same. Uh, it has a uh, union right here. Simple screw, uh, screw the union off, or I should say unscrew the union right here. And then this whole piece just slides right out for easy cleaning. So, uh, so far so good. I've had it running on the tank actually for probably about five or six weeks now. I did scrape off uh, a ton of algae this morning when I did uh, clean it out for the first time. So. Um, now that it's broken in and it's adhering to that screen, it should really uh, start to grow much quicker and easier. Um, as far as the tank goes, the lights are off in the tank right now, so it's kind of hard to uh, see what the algae situation is. Um, as far as uh, you know, algae scrubbers obviously are supposed to scrub the algae from your tank. As far as um, you know, they eat up the nutrients. The algae growing in this box eats up the nutrients in the water, which is supposed to uh, you know, technically lessen your algae issue in the tank. Um, I am running three Kessel lights on this tank, so I do get a good amount of algae. And um, quite honestly, guys, I don't know if I could really say that it is cut back big time on the algae in the tank itself. Um, it's a new product to me. This is the first time I've ever had one. I would love to say, yeah, it's the greatest thing in the world, and you guys should run out and get one. But quite honestly, I'm definitely going to need more time to uh, figure out if it's doing a whole lot. It's definitely growing algae in the box, but uh, so far I have not really seen a significant difference as far as 
algae growth in the tank. I'm still, you know, cleaning the glass, still, uh, you know, uh, cleaning some rocks off here and there, uh, overflow boxes, etc. So uh, I'm going to kind of give it a few more months and give uh, a better opinion and an update in a few months to see how I like it then. But uh, as of right now, uh, build quality, everything else is uh, really good on it. Seems to be really good. Everything's working just fine. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking at algae scrubbers, maybe give this one a look. Again, it's Aquatic, guys. Uh, I did purchase this one on eBay, but as I said, they do have their own website, so uh, give them a check out on, uh, online. Otherwise, there are you know probably a handful of other algae scrubbers out there, but uh, so far, so good with this one. I'm happy with this product. I'll give an update in a few more months to see if it's uh, you know definitely worth it or not. I believe this one, I think I want to say it was around $250 or so. Um, so, you know, definitely uh, more than enough uh, for what I need on this 210 gallon tank. Um, so, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it. I'll talk to you in the next one.